Alright. There's my mess. Uh, this is a mold I made a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago. A couple, three years ago. <laughs> uh, never mind. I'll talk to about it later. This is the vase. That's the center of the vase. Or this is the backing. And that's the center for the backing. All right. That's all I'm going to talk about right now. i got too much going on. i got to stop and finish stuff. Anyway. Um, four seams. This one's not cut all the way through. This one is. That one's not. I just want to get it off there. That way I can um, maybe uh, cut the other ones. Cutting rubber is not too easy on something like this. Here's where I screwed up. Right. I tried to clean the hose out when I put the backing on and the rubber caught the drill bit. Be careful. Use your flame or whatever. Good sharp bit. Whatever. It grabbed. Still not ruined. All right. Here's another problem. I ran out of tape. Boss gave me some kind of weird tape and had green lines in it. You can see where it deteriorated the rubber. At least it's on the flange. I don't think it's going to hurt a thing. Anyway, first time stripping. Well, <laughs> just watch and see if I can get it stripped. Uh, yeah. Like I said, that same I'll cut later. Should have already did it anyway. It's probably gonna be hard to pull off if I don't do it right. Right? Maybe not. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. Oh. Yeah. time pulling off a model sucks anyway, right? Okay, here it comes. We got movement. Yeah, got a lot of movement. Come on, boys. Yeah. I hope you can see this. If you can't. Sorry, right. hopefully can. Right. Let me pull my pants up. Okay. Right. Make sure. Right. Right. Got one side. Right. Now I'm gonna flip it. And make sure you're in the kind of in the view. I ain't do all this work for nothing. Sorry. Like I said, we got this one side pulled loose. Now I can pull from the inside, maybe. I hope so. Yeah. That's the old school base. It's been weathered very good. Oh. Yeah. Even I forgot. Let me show you the texture. Okay. Uh, see that texture? Okay. About to whoop this old boy's butt. Right. Anyway, coming back again. Changing the tire here. We're going to, have to go all the way around. Come on. Come on. Give me 
some movement. Uh, there we go. There's movement. Uh, shirt off. Now we get the inside rope loose. Ah. Ah. Come on. Ah. Break loose. Ah. Oh. Okay. Right. Everything's kind of broke loose. There we go. Center plugs in there. We'll have to take that out. That's the PVC. All right. Dropping it. Right. See it, guys? Right. That's the center. I mean, the rubber. <laughs> and there's the hole. All right. See you, guys. PVC plug I put in there. See, looks more like a PVC plug now. Oh, I wish I'd use some kind of better tools. All right. Anyway, there we go. Okay. Just a PVC plug. I glued in the bottom for the drain hole. I used blue tape to seal it up. You can fill it up with clay if you want to. See, it's just a piece of PVC. I think it's uh, not for sure. I think it's I don't want to even say it because I don't want to sound too stupid but anyway but you see what size it is yourself compared to my thumb. Right, see. Right, but anyway that's your drain hole. That's where you stick that longer piece of PVC like, like that to come out the top when you're pouring her out the bottom. Anyway, I'll show you later. You probably doesn't know it. See you guys, ain't this fun? Get a workout and look at weird stuff. <laughs> right. Speaking of weird stuff, there's the uh, rubber. Let's flip her around. Okay. Still got a stripper later. Stripper, cut to the seams, but anyway, it don't matter. The thing's heavy. Okay, right. Right. that's a pretty good looking vase. It's gonna look, I don't know, rustic looking. There's my rubber. All right, y'all done seen everything. All right, see you again, guys. That's heavy. Okay, I'm going to strip the rubber off this vase. Anyway, here's some Harbor Freight little knives. They work pretty good. And, and I went there to buy these. They, they work good for cutting your flange or your seam. But they didn't have none. That's no good. It doesn't got dull. Don't take long to dull your knives and stuff with rubber. But anyway... What I wanted to show you was I always had, all right, I cut all the seams off on the outside. Then on the inside, you know, you have to strip and cut. You see that? Just strip and cut to get the inside. If it's not real tight, which a knife blade's thin, makes the seam thin. Anyway, uh, holding it and cutting it, it's kind of hard to do. Trick I just learned myself is, uh, as you go, if you got something to clamp to, which I'm lucky to have this, I got the uh, four flanges. I can just kind of stretch that one that way and sort of stretch that one that way a little bit. And uh, yeah, it helps. See how I cut that. I can still pull my left hand. You see that? Maybe you can, I don't know. Anyway. Real quick, just showing you. I'll have to cut that. That's inside the card right there. That's, anyway, 
Just giving you an idea as we go. See ya.